Hi, my name is Alex, and in this episode of Magic Missile Minis, I'm going to be starting a Space Marine diorama project for a competition in my local Warhammer store. So, the first thing that I do is get all of the different pieces I'm going to need for the diorama, making sure to clean up any mold lines with a craft knife. The idea I had for this diorama was to have two space marines hanging off the edge of a cliff while being attacked by a large monster. And one of the alterations I needed to do was to have the torso of one of the space marines kind of folding inward, as if his back was arched. So, after assembling one of the chest pieces, I cut at it with a craft knife to remove the lower part of the torso with kind of the chest area. And then, with both of those pieces separated, I once again take my craft knife and file down the waist part that we just detached. That way I can play around with the positioning of the waist to the chest before I glue the pieces back together, as you can see me doing here. Rather than doing the same thing on the other side, I'm just going to sculpt in the back part of the waist later. After that, I take one of the arm pieces and I chop it into two parts, keeping the forearm and the elbow pad that they have. I then reattach the arms using some green stuff, changing it so that the arm itself is now straight, since this arm is going to be the one grabbing onto the cliff. And here you can see me adding that arm onto the torso that we had just made. And while the green stuff is still setting on that arm, I add the Space Marine Pauldron. Now we can move on to this first figure's legs. And my plan for this is to have both of the legs pressed onto the side of the cliff. The one leg works fine as long as I attach it to the torso properly, whereas the other leg, as you can see, I chopped off and is going to need to be edited a little bit. So here I take some green stuff and use that as a glue between the different segments of the leg that I chopped up. This way I can edit the leg so that it's straighter as if it's, again, as I said before, pressed up against the cliffside. And here you can kind of see the final positioning for the legs. After that, I add a little bit of green stuff mixed in with milliput to make the armor onto the arm we had made before. Specifically using milliput so we can sand it later getting some nice crisp edges that will go along with the plastic from the Space Marine kit. Doing the same with the belt and the rest of the torso like I had mentioned previously, which you can see mostly finished here. I then start working on the other arm for this first figure, chopping that up in the same way that we've done for all the other parts that we're changing here. Again, this one needs to be straighter than it obviously is. So after fixing the cut up with a little bit of milliput as you can see here, which unfortunately I forgot to film, I take some green stuff and start assembling the arm. This time obviously I didn't have to make half of the arm out of green stuff, I just reused the bicep from the arm that we had chopped up. Now I go back to all of the milliput we had added now that it's set and start to sand and scrape away at that to make the edges nice and crisp as well as making sure, in the case of the belt, that it works seamlessly with the plastic of the miniature, doing the same on the arm that we had just finished. Now it's time to move on to the other figure, and the first thing I need to do is edit the legs, uh, quite a bit actually, as you can see here, since the feet of the miniature need to be kind of pointed down since they're not actually standing on anything. So, taking some milliput, I reattach the feet onto the legs, pointing them down a little bit. Again, specifically using milliput, since parts of what I'm sculpting to attach these feet onto the legs are going to have to transition seamlessly between the sculpting material and the plastic of the leg. So here you can see me sculpting the milliput into the general shape that I want, sometimes spilling over, making sure that there's more rather than less, so that later on I can sand this down and scrape this off with a craft knife and get it nice and perfectly seamless. But while that sets, I take a little bit of green stuff and attach the other leg that I had chopped off before. And this, of course, is to change the position so that the legs kind of look like they're dangling 
While all that sets, I move on to the arms of the two Space Marines that are going to be clasped together. So I start by sanding down the ends of the forearms so that they can be glued together. But unfortunately, I realized I had done this on the wrong side. So basically, I had to go in with some milliput to go over that. And then I started sanding on the right side of the arm. But first I had to let the milliput set, and while I did that, I started sanding down the legs of this second miniature. Or more accurately, the feet that I had attached using some milliput. And here you can kind of see why I was using milliput. This part right here needs to be seamless with the plastic of the rest of the leg. And here you can see what the finished legs look like. And with the legs finished, I go back to the arm that I was working on before and sand down the milliput I had used to fix the little chunk that I had filed out of it, leaving me back where I had started. I then really quickly add the torso onto the legs that I had just finished earlier, and then start working on attaching the arm that we had made for the first figure and the arm for this new figure like I had tried to do before and messed up. And with those guys together, I make one of the hands for the Space Marines kind of clasping, kind of in like a bro handshake, the other Space Marines arm. After that, I can add a little bit more green stuff so that I can attach this arm onto the first figure we had made. I'll be sculpting the hand for this guy a little bit later when the rest of the arm for the second figure is actually finished. I then add the other arm for the other figure that we are making. And then, although I forgot to film it, I take some green stuff and I attach the arm that was attached to the other figure and kind of connect everything together. While I leave that to set, I work on the heads for these two miniatures. Shaving off the one a little bit so that I can attach it with green stuff rather than just super glue. The reason being, since he's looking up so much, I noticed that you could kind of see how he was being attached to the torso, which I didn't like. But for the second miniature, I just add it with super glue because that wasn't as much of a problem. I then also add the chain sword that the second figure is going to be wielding, kind of defending himself from the monster that I'm going to be making. And just like the first figure that we had made, I add a little bit of milliput to the arm for the armor there. And while that sets, I attach their backpack things. I don't actually know what these are officially called. Let me know in the comments so that I can actually refer to them properly. But either way, I attach the backpack jetpack thingies onto both of the Space Marines. And now that I've added those, I add a tentacle wrapped around the one miniature. I was going to have the monster that they're being chased by kind of be like a Kraken type Lovecraftian monster, because as you can probably tell by now, I'm obsessed with Lovecraftian monsters. Once the main part of the tentacle has finished setting, I add a little bit more milliput and create these kind of like sores and holes in it so that the tentacle has a little bit more interest to it. Because otherwise, it's going to just look really boring, especially if I have a bunch of these tentacles. It's just going to look plain and uninteresting. So I go around and I add a couple of these onto this tentacle. And as you probably already guessed, I wanted to have the one figure chopping the tentacle in half with his chainsword. So I add a little bit more milliput to make the end of the tentacle look like it's kind of being torn. Adding a little bit of green stuff after the milliput had set to make the inside of the tentacle as well. I can then go over to the milliput we had added before and shave that down so the edges are nice and sharp. And as a final touch for this episode, um, add the hand of the first space marine. So, I'm going to be leaving it here for now for this first episode having finished the main figures for this diorama. In the next episode, I'm going to be making the monster that they are running from that I mentioned, as well as the rest of the base for the miniature. And I think I'll probably dedicate an entire video in itself for painting the project. So you can look forward to those videos in the next coming weeks. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell to get notified of whenever I release a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my Patreon, and there'll be a link for that in the description. If you like, leave a comment if for any questions you might have or video suggestions. 
Also, if you like, leave a comment for any video suggestions you might have or questions about miniature sculpting. But anyways, thank you so much for watching that video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.